Hello again, this is Andrew Klein. This is uh, video four in our uh, series. Uh, what we're going to look at in this video is uh, how to take what we've put together in After Effects now, this little uh, composite that I've put together with the uh, wireframe, which uh, adds on, uh, how to get this uh, rendered out in a uh, uncompressed way. So uh, basically, it's actually a pretty simple step. Uh, this video shouldn't take us all that long to cover. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, After Effects Composition and choose Add to Render Queue. So once you've got everything set up in your timeline, we're going to go to Add, add to Render Queue. Now here, uh, under Output, here's where I can set the name of my movie. And uh, I'm just going to say this uh, is going to be called Uncompressed Raw. You see, I already have a video rendered out with this. But uh, I'll call this one Uncompressed Raw. And uh, my output mode is kind of the important part. I'm going to go to output mode, and uh, this is currently set to uh, lossless. Now here, uh, what I want to do is just make sure I have a couple of things set correctly. Uh, first, under format options, I'm going to set my video codec. Uh, animation is a slightly compressed video format. Uh, instead of compressing it with any of these video compression schemes, I'm just going to export this out with no compression. Each of the clips that I might generate, and I might have several of these for my reel, let's say you're a character modeler, you might have you know five or six different characters rotating on turntables. You're going to export them all out as uncompressed files, and that way you know I'm not losing any quality as I go into the next frames of uh, the next step uh, in my um, demo reel creation. So I'll say OK there. Uh, under color management, I'm going to choose preserve RGB, which uh, maintains the exact color format that you've had previously. Under main options, my format is QuickTime, and I'm going to leave this as QuickTime. Uh, however, you can also export out. Uh, let's say you needed an image sequence and you wanted to go back to the image sequence. You could kind of do that here as well. Uh, but we're going to set this as QuickTime. Uh, my video options, my channel is going to be RGB. My depth is going to be millions of colors. My color will be pre-multiplied matted. Now, um, you're not really going to be resizing your video footage, but uh, I just think it's helpful to just check the resizing settings and make sure that everything is correct here. Uh, currently, I'm rendering at 720 by 480. My aspect ratio is locked at uh, 3 to 2. Uh, these are my preset settings here with you know different uh, pixel aspect ratios as well. Uh, again, I'm not choosing any of this here, but if you're working at a different size, and let's say you were working at 640 by 480 and need to correct things, while that's not recommended, you can kind of redo that here. So I'll leave resize off. Uh, these are the only settings I'm going to change, and I'm going to say OK. Under render settings, uh, make sure your quality is set to best and your resolution is set to full. Uh, use the compositions frame rate of 29.97 and you can uh, set a custom uh, time to render out, but I usually recommend just doing the whole thing, the whole duration, which would be 9, fr uh, nine seconds and 28 frames in this case. So uh, that's all I really need, and when I'm done, I would just hit render, and it will actually take a few minutes and render out, uh, and that's what I have uh, already rendered out here is my uncompressed raw footage. Uh, note that this is uh, 309 megabytes, so uh, this will be kind of large, uh, and that's what we'll be working with as we bring this into Final Cut. So uh, this has been video four. Uh, please stay tuned for the next video where we're actually going to bring this into Final Cut and do some editing.